we are talking sciatica pain. So if you're having that little bit of a zinger coming down into your glute, if you're having glute pain, piriformis pain, these are some exercises that you can do at home to help relieve that. So first things first, you're gonna bring one leg across, you're gonna pull this knee up into your chest, arch your lower back and look over top of that shoulder. You're gonna feel a really deep stretch in that glute on your right side. And then you can hold this position for about 30 seconds and then we're gonna switch sides. Even if you're having sciatica pain on one side, you're gonna make sure that you do both sides just because we wanna make things even. And if your pelvis is shifting because the muscles are pulling, it might cause pain on the opposite side. So you need to stretch the other side. So just make sure you do both. So again, knee into the chest, arch your lower back, and then really look over top of that shoulder. Second exercise, we're gonna take our tennis ball or lacrosse ball or any type of ball that you have, just make sure that it's about this size. You're gonna place it underneath your glute, right on that piriformis muscle. So it's about in the middle of your butt. You're gonna sit on it. We're gonna activate this time. So you're gonna lift up and open and then come back down. So with this exercise, we're gonna do about five times on both sides, just to make sure that we target those muscles. So again, about five times, I know I'm shortening it for the for video purposes, but just make sure you're doing all of the reps at home. You'll thank me later. So again, placing it right in the middle of your butt and activating that glute. Next exercise, we're going to move to the floor and then you're going to rest against your back against a wall or a sturdy surface, a couch, doesn't matter. You're gonna take one knee or one leg over top of the, your one knee and then you're just gonna inch your leg forward or back towards yourself. And this, you'll feel a little bit different stretch than the chair, but you might feel it a little bit more intensely. So here we can still grab that knee and pull it into our chest, but honestly, this is kind of enough for me personally. And then again, we wanna just make sure we do both sides. So one leg over top and then inch that leg forward back towards yourself here. With having that support on the, on the back, you get a little bit of a different stretch than if you were leaning and pulling yourself here. Um, and honestly, it feels pretty great. Last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do some flossing with our sciatic nerve that's running down. So you can be seated in a chair on the floor. I'm gonna demonstrate on the floor here. So legs are gonna be out nice and straight. You're gonna lean forward, really arch that back. You're gonna bring one toe towards and then head down. You're gonna look up towards the ceiling and then bring your head and toe towards one another. So flossing can be done about 20 times per foot because to stretch that nerve, it takes a long time and we just wanna make sure that we get enough repetition into that nerve. 